In this video, we'll take a look at some tips and tricks for Affinity Publisher from A to Z. The A to Z of Affinity Publisher, tips, tricks, and hacks you can use in your next project. Before we dig in, if you're looking for assets and templates for Affinity Publisher, make sure to check out Envato Elements. Publisher can open up InDesign IDML files, so that means there's thousands of compatible templates over on Envato Elements, and one low fee means access to the entire library with unlimited downloads. Check out the description for more info. Now, let's start at the top. A is for Arrow and the other varied shape tools. We get a bunch of different options with the shape tools here in Affinity Publisher. Click and hold to expand the shape tools and you can choose whichever you prefer. Let's try the arrow. Click and drag to draw your shape. Then we can come up here at the top of the software and customize our arrow, both ends of it too. B is for bookmarks, for easy browsing in your PDFs. We can add PDF bookmarks using the anchor panel, which you can find via View, Studio, Anchors. All we need to do is select some of our type, I'll use this header here in this Affinity Publisher template, and then click the page icon here in the anchor panel to add a new anchor. Publisher gives us the option to make it a PDF bookmark. C is for Character Panel. Change up your text. The Character Panel is an easy way to customize your text. Here's some copy that I already have in this Affinity Publisher template. Let's change this header here. I'll go to View, Studio, Character to open the Character Panel. Then I can change things like the font and size right here towards the top of the panel. D is for Documents. You can even use InDesign files. Publisher can use InDesign IDML files. IDMLs are InDesign markup language documents, which are good for legacy versions of InDesign, but can also work with Affinity Publisher too. It's as simple as File, Open, and then choose your IDML file. And just like that, we've opened up this InDesign file in Publisher. E is for Embedding, which is different from Linking. Go to File, Document Setup, and then we can choose which we prefer here in the Image Placement Policy, Embedded or Linked. A linked file is going to be dependent on the file's location on your computer. Embedded files, on the other hand, are within your publisher document, which may increase your file size. F is for Frames, and essential for laying out content. When you're placing content in Publisher, you're often going to use frames. Let's take a look at the basics here. We'll use the Picture Frame Rectangle tool. Select it and then click and drag to draw rectangular shapes. Consider them content placeholders. For example, we could place an image inside these frames. G is for Glow. Try a host of layer effects. Let's apply some layer effects to this simple shape I've drawn. We can click on the FX button here at the bottom of the Layers panel, or go to Layer, Layer Effects. Here on the left-hand side, I'll choose Outer Glow. Give this outer glow a color, experiment with the radius, and more. It's easy to try out all of these fun effects. H is for History Panel. Take a few steps back. The History Panel is kind of like an advanced undo. Here's a look at my document and the history displayed in my History Panel. I can see all of the steps that lead to my design right here. All I have to do is click one of these states to go back to it. Or I can click to go forward again in my History too. I is for Image Place. Easily add content to your layouts. Let's add an image to this Affinity Publisher template. With my Move tool active, I'll select this image placeholder. Then, let's go to File, Place. Select the file from your computer. Then, Publisher has placed the image, and we can resize and move it with Publisher's slider and by clicking and dragging here by these arrows. J is for Justify. Customize your paragraph alignment. To customize our paragraphs, let's turn to the Paragraph panel. Go to View, Studio, Paragraph to open it up. I'll select one of the paragraphs here in this Affinity Publisher template. It's as simple as clicking on one of the alignments at the top of the Paragraph panel. Pick whichever best suits your content. K is for kerning, how to adjust your text spacing. When it comes to kerning, we can turn to the Character panel. Again, that's View, Studio, character. We'll need to expand the positioning and transform section of this panel. Then take the text tool and place your cursor between the letters you'd like to adjust. 
We can then tweak the current value here to adjust that spacing. L is for layers, a convenient way to organize content. Open up your layers by going to View, Studio, Layers. Check out the layers here in this Affinity Publisher brochure. We can add a new layer by clicking on this paper icon. Likewise, we can delete a layer by selecting it and clicking on the trash can. Want to hide a layer? Just click on the check mark right here on the right of each layer. M is for master pages, for repeating pages and elements. Master pages are great for repeating content like headers. Start by opening the Pages panel by going to View, Studio, Pages. The master pages are located here at the top. Expand it by clicking on this arrow. Double click to edit a master page. Want to use one? All we have to do is click and drag to apply a master page to an active page. N is for Navigator, to easily preview your content. The Navigator panel is really handy for keeping an eye on your work, kind of like a dynamic thumbnail. Open it up by going to View, Studio, Navigator. We can resize it by clicking and dragging on the edges. To change your document view, just click and drag on the Navigator's preview. You can also zoom with this slider at the top. O is for Open Type. Publisher supports these features too. OpenType is a font format and Publisher supports many OpenType features. Let's open the Typography panel by going to Text, Show Typography. Now I'm going to use this script font from Envato Elements. I'll just highlight one of the letters, and then I can choose an alternate here from the list. P is for Pages. That's what we're here for, right? Publisher is a great tool for multi-page documents and our Pages panel makes working with them a breeze. Open it up by going to View, Studio, Pages. Check out what the pages look like here in this Affinity Publisher template. It's easy to browse larger documents, and all I need to do is double-click on a spread to jump right to it. Q is for Quick, because setting up spreads is a breeze. It's super easy to set up and edit your spreads in Publisher. With the Move tool active, we have some important options here that we can access anytime. Document Setup, Spread Setup, and Preferences. Let's take a look at the Spread Setup. Then click the Margins tab. Now I can adjust my margins, change their color, click OK, and I'm done. R is for Rulers, so you can easily align as you design. Rulers are great for easily aligning your content. To turn your rulers on, go to View, Show Rulers. Then we can use our rulers to create guides. Click and drag from one of the rulers out onto your work area. See the line it creates for me? I can click and drag to create as many custom guides as I need. S is for Stay Calm, because Publisher can autosave. I think we've all experienced a technical problem before, but thankfully, Affinity Publisher autosaves for us. With the Move tool active, click Preferences up here. Then click the menu icon and select Performance. Here we can tweak quality and usage limits, as well as how frequently Publisher saves a backup, the file recovery interval. T is for Toolbar. Did you know you can customize it? One of my favorite things about Publisher is how much we can customize the toolbar. Go to View, Customize Tools to get started. Then we can click and drag to rearrange our tools. You can drag new tools in, and you can drag tools out of the toolbar too. You can even customize how many columns are displayed. U is for UI. Check out dark mode, light mode, and more. Let's check out our preferences again. Click on the menu icon and then choose user interface. Publisher offers so many options when it comes to customizing the software. For example, you can work in light mode or dark mode. You can also make the UI font larger or smaller. Try customizing your UI to meet your needs. V is for vibrance. Adjust the intensity of your imagery. You can do layer adjustments in Affinity Publisher too. Let's go to Layer, New Adjustment, Vibrance. Then we can drag the sliders here to customize the vibrance and saturation of our image. If you look at our Layers panel, we have an adjustment layer here. Just double click on it to edit these adjustments again. W is for Workspace, which you can arrange as you like. Let's start with a default studio layout. Go to View, Studio, Reset Studio, and we can see all of the basics laid out as they are by default. Keep in mind that you can dock, 
undock, and drag these panels. Close extra panels by clicking on the X at the top right. You can find most panels under the View, Studio menu to reopen them. X is for export, for when you're ready to print and share. Remember to save your work by going to File, Save, or Save As to save a working copy of your content. However, this is different from exporting as a file more appropriate for the web or for print. Just go to File, Export to export your work. Then we have a host of options here that we can choose from, like PDF, PNG, JPG, and more. Y is for yellow. From CMYK to RGB, choose your color space. Different projects might call for different color spaces. Let's return to our document setup. Then click on the Color tab. The Color Format drop-down allows us to choose between modes such as CMYK and RGB. We can also change up our color profile. We can even toggle a transparent background on if we'd like to. Z is for Zoom, multiple ways to admire what you've done. The Zoom tool and the View tool are super handy ways of viewing your content. The Zoom tool is this little magnifying glass, and this hand icon is the View tool. We can also use this slider up at the top of the software to pan and zoom, depending on the tool we have selected. There's so much you can do with Affinity Publisher. If you enjoyed the designs featured in this video, make sure to check out the description below if you'd like to download them. They're all available right now on Envato Elements. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to our channel. You can also click on the notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching.